Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn difference between black box versus white box testing. So in the previous tutorials about black box and white box testing, I've already covered what exactly black box testing is and white box testing is. So if you haven't watched the previous tutorials in this series, please go through and watch those because they'll give you a deeper understanding about black box and white box testing and how you can basically correlate those with the real example and explain to the interviewer. Now, the whole purpose of this tutorial is to basically understand the differences of black box testing and white box testing side by side. And that's what I have mentioned uh, here on the board. So we'll go through the steps uh, or the differences, key differences between black box and white box testing, which will help you to explain these concepts or the differences between black box and white box testing to any interviewer, okay? So the first uh, difference is basically around who does what sort of testing, right? So mostly, if you see the black box testing is done by software testers. Now, this is not, you know, uh, this is mostly done by the software tester, but in case there is help required from other members of the team like developers and BA, they also can help, but most of the time, black box testing is done by software testers or testing team all right now if you talk about white box testing white box testing is mostly done by developers right so if and it, only if the tester has the good understanding of the white box testing and programming knowledge only then the testers do white box testing but most of the places uh, you will see that white box testing is done by developers. So that's the first key difference basically in terms of role, who does what sort of testing. Uh, the second uh, difference is around the uh, what exactly uh, is uh, within the white box or black box testing. So in black box testing, as we have understood, you usually as a tester, you usually verify the functionality without worrying about the internal structure of the code, right? Say for example, e-commerce website register link okay and if i click on a register link uh, then it opens the registration page right and i need to provide all the details there so once i click on register link i am not worried about the internal working or how the code has been called uh, how the request went to server what processing has been done so that is all you know a black box for me so once i click on register link i am not uh, able to see what exactly happens behind the scene on the server so internal code is not known in terms of or in case of black box testing or if you are doing black box testing you don't need to worry about how the internal code is working or what all methods classes are being written how the the overall code is being called internally so that is not known uh, if we talk about white box testing in the same case, knowledge of internal code implementation is required because in the white box testing, your testing will not just, you know, uh, not limit to actually clicking on the link and verifying that the page is getting open successfully. In white box testing, the uh, testing will actually be around the coverage of the code that has been written to implement this functionality. So in the white box testing, uh, you will have the, uh, you know, uh, once uh, this particular register link is being invoked, you will verify what all coverage or what all methods are being called and whether with the test cases, all the permutation combination or basically all the scenarios, statement coverage or the conditions uh, or loop coverage has been done or not. So that is why knowledge of the internal code implementation is required if you want to basically verify the internal working of the code, right? Then uh, black box testing is mm, the functional testing, right? So verifying the functionality or the requirement, okay? So verifying the functionality, the requirement that is being implemented into the application. So in this case, registration functionality, or if I'm adding the items to the cart, uh, in the e-commerce website and then checking out, doing the payment. So just verifying the adding items, another functionality, checking out or uh, doing the payment, another functionality. So in the black box testing, I'm just verifying the functional aspect of the functional testing. 
However, in the white box testing, it is structural verification, which is mostly for uh, which which relies on the actual design document, right? So the the design or the low level design that has been done uh, in the project. So when the tech art architect does the high level design HLD and the detailed design, then that design is required to do the structural testing based on whatever design has been done. Um, the structure of the code needs to be tested. The statements need to be tested and how all the aspects or all the methods classes are being structured and modularized that all is the purpose of white box testing so it is the structural testing of the software then in the black box testing no programming knowledge is required because you don't need to understand what happens internally when you click on register link right you just need to click on register link and you verify the, uh, the the web page being open, the registration page being open, right? So that's the verification in the black box testing. So you don't need any programming knowledge or any internal code structure or how the code has been deployed or developed. You don't need any knowledge in black box testing. But if it comes to white box testing, it requires programming knowledge because you need to get into the code. You need to, you know, put the code into different you know you need to use the testing frameworks to basically write the test cases and then you need to understand the code coverage tools that you can utilize and run those testing uh, unit tests or uh, the test cases that you have written in the unit test tools to basically verify the coverage and because of that you need to have good understanding of the programming knowledge uh, and the programming in which the particular code or the software has been developed, right? So if the application has been developed using Java, you need the understanding of Java programming language. If it is developed using Python, you need to understand the Python testing frameworks and the understanding of the Python programming language, right? So that is why in the white box testing, you need to have programming knowledge and good programming knowledge to do the white box testing. And that is why the main reason of doing the developers or mostly it is done by develop developers because developers have good understanding of the programming language, they have implemented it and that is why they do that particular testing, right? Then if we talk about the types, so briefly I have covered some of the types of black box testing, so regression testing, system acceptance, there are n number of types, so you can, you know, Google and search for different types of testing, but in order to, you know, go ahead and explain to the interviewer, I think that should be enough. You cover a couple of, you know, uh, types of testing, regression system, acceptance, retesting uh, is, is another one that you can add. So any other functional testing that you can think of, you can add in the black box testing. However, in the white box testing, the types are statement coverage, uh, you know, condition coverage, branch coverage. So these are some of the coverage uh, techniques or the coverage types uh, that are required in white box testing. So in white box testing, because you need to verify the internal working of the code. So when you write the test cases, you need to make sure that all the statements written for the particular functionality or the code are being covered with the statement coverage technique or statement coverage testing type or the condition coverage. All the conditions are being covered with the test cases that you write, okay? Uh, or all the branch or loops are being covered. So all these, you know, types are applicable in white box testing, okay? So that's uh, the brief about the differences between the black box and white box testing and what are the key differences that you can explain to the interviewer along with, you know, the examples, uh, who does which type of testing and why. So this will help you to basically explain it in much better way to the interviewer and uh, you know clear the interview in very easy manner so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching